Hello YouTubers, welcome to another painting. This time I'm doing a uh, painting of an owl and this was a uh, a trade painting that I was doing for one of my subscribers and um, she did a lot of uh, bird paintings and, and bird images and she sent me a fantastic painting of a crow. I love crows. I wish I had a pet crow actually. So I told her if she would do me a painting of a crow, I would do her a painting of an owl. But I can't do just any painting of an owl. In a minute you'll see the image that I used as a reference for this painting. But I decided to put a twist to it and make it a cyborg owl. One of his wings is going to be actually made out of metal and blades. So I told her I would do one, but it had to be in my style. So I chose to do a cyborg owl. Kind of a surreal piece. Again, something uh, that I explained in my surreal paintings, where you take an image that you normally would see and add an element to it that you would not normally see. So I chose to do a cyborg owl. So now I'm going through doing that, that front wing there, kind of making it look metallic or chrome, using uh, uh, Prussian blue, white, and uh, burnt sienna uh, to give that chrome kind of look. I put the white base down and then I paint over the top of that with the blues and the siennas to give it that, uh, that sheen of metal. That's the typical colors you would use in like a chrome type look. Sorry my head's in the way so much. But I go through and I, I lay out the, the tones and the colors and then I do my line work. I like doing uh, black line work around my paintings. I remember when I was in high school when I would paint stuff my teacher always says, don't do the black, don't do the black. You know, let the colors just be what they are. Don't do the black. But she didn't understand that that black is a refinement. That black is a finishing detail that I like around my images, around my, my components within a painting. Gives it refinement. So again, as the paint is, is applied, it's, it's nice and wet so I can blend as I go. I blend on the painting. When I paint, I blend on the painting. You know, I actually blend the colors together. And that gives me that nice uh, contour or shape to my images. I really love doing chrome work. And I had to decide, how, how was I going to do a metal wing? How was I actually going to do that? Well, I did the plates, you know, I kind of like the plates of his upper wing part. And I said, how am I going to do the feathers? How would I do the feathers if, if they were chrome? And then I did the idea of making them into blades, like sharp blades or knife edges. So I turned that part of his wing into like knife edges. So I have to go through and define each each feather as its own blade. with the black work give it that definition and fine edge I 
I have no idea how this bird could actually fly with a metal wing. But it's possible, I suppose. I'm going to use that, a long liner brush for all my details. Instead of a short bristled small brush, I use a liner brush. Liner brushes have long bristles on them. Inch long, two and a half inch long. They can be very long bristles. It's kind of like what you would use for pinstriping. If you were doing pinstriping on a vehicle, it would be a liner brush or a pinstriping brush. It holds a lot of pigment, so you can paint you know, quite a few lines without having to re-dip. But uh, I love the liner brushes. You can see that wing coming into shape now. Pretty formidable creature, actually. The little image to the side there of the, uh, the little character over on the right hand side of the screen, that's something that a uh, follower did for me. They actually created a, uh, a white beard painter adventurer. So that is my uh, character that he made for me when I was on Twitch. So I put that on my, my screen so he would know that I appreciated it. On Twitch you could actually give, oh it's kind of like a tip jar I guess you can call it little coins or, or tokens of appreciation. That's what the glass is. People would give tokens of appreciation while they were watching the stream. And I'm doing the actual feathers that are on the owl. And again, I had a reference to go by for this particular owl. And you'll, I think you'll see that pop up here in a few minutes. The actual image that I was using for this reference of this beautiful owl in flight. So now I'm trying to do the feathers as best I can to make it represent what he really should look like. taking shape now. Got a little highlights in there. start working over on his body. There's different show different shades of gray and browns. And I did a nice kind of like gradated back uh, background of grays to kind of blend with his body. Keep the tones all working together so the painting is nice and uniform. Well, that was a quick close-up, I suppose. When you're painting from an image as a, as a resource, when you're using something that you're painting from, you simply have to, to try hard to match what you're seeing. Match what you see in that photo. All the little highlights and pin feathers and everything else that's going on. 
You just got to use that reference photo to, to, to see it. And then imagine that you can put that same thing down on a palette or on a, on a painting, actually. Kind of get his face all nice and redefined. All right, guys. That's just about it. Couple little more highlights to go. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you come back and see some more. Thank you guys.